all right folks we just wrapped up day two and the verdict is guess where i finished in 20th spot last man in which is uh you know i ain't mad about it gosh lee that last hour was super stressful but we we slid in there we got some work to do come uh knockout round that's for sure only the top eight guys move on and man i'll tell you it's nothing it's been nothing like practice it's been absolutely nothing like practice man i had such a good practice but these smallmouth they swim around they move so much that you never really could be dialed in completely so anyways we got another shot at them i'm gonna try some new areas that i haven't fished yet during the tournament but i did fish in practice found some things but i haven't had an opportunity to fish them yet just because it's been so rough you can't run really like i want to so i don't know hopefully it gets better man i'm, I'm hopeful <laughs> what you doing dc I, I got my little stretch self. i see you got the you super know. long stretch hey, i'm vlogging you stick. vlogging me everybody vlogging baby that's, no, a, anyway, hey, that's a pretty that's a pretty sight here, though look at this uh beautiful oh look at old girl she fishing oh, look right? i ain't mad oh she got one she got bluegill right where we at right oh this is the sturgeon bay canal right i think yeah, something like that this is a pretty beautiful sunset right now real tall i ain't really into sunsets but this one right here legitimate seagulls flying just like home what size are these rocks hey these is rock rocks gummy rocks hey let me tell y'all a quick little story real quick while we're sitting here you know what these rocks remind me of tell it dc hawaii oh and what Ooh. happened around in rocks at hawaii zzz, zzz. No, no, no 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 something no. else around them rocks you remember that big rock oh we walked out on with the rattlesnakes oh bro oh my hey. god me and Look. dc about died y'all don't understand did you they, did we, we didn't film this no we weren't we filming film. at the time no Look, they, what's going on i am what's going on man oh, hey we're actually filming right now little rock man hey he going man got him a cross tail shad he check him out got and he got a mosquito he got a mosquito hook too owner he does he got all the he right does. stuff he, he know what's up yeah, yes right. sir and i'm sorry i forget your name right? i'm mark daniels all good oh, man what's, what's your name i'm cory Ferris. cory pleasure yep. to meet you bro you too we didn't met cory out here we out in sturgeon bay canal cory's fishing he got all the right equipment check him out mosquito hook mosquito hook owner little cross tail shad uh, what, what color is that i honestly forget i think it's, it's kind of like <laughs> yep. uh aaron's magic yeah yeah that's well, really good spinning pole he got his, he got his brain fluorocarbon leader he likely tied a FG not, I'm not sure. Alberto. Uh, Alberto. Yo, okay. Yeah. Uh, he probably talking man, about me. He know what's up. Knots. This guy right here. Terrible tying knots. <laughs> hey, you still catching them though. Yeah, that's right. That's right. All right, we're getting ready to take off. This is day three. Good morning. How are you? I'm great. How are you? Just talking to my cameras. <laughs> getting ready to take off here. Day three. We've uh, made knockout round. We're gonna have to catch them up today. Um, man, it's probably gonna take about 75 pounds, I think. To make the top eight top two guys already have advanced on the championship round that'd be cliff pace and justin lucas so there's eight spots up for grabs today to make the cut and i'm gonna be trying to grab me one so we're gonna be fishing our heinies off and hopes to uh make this cut back again where else yep egg harbor i can nelly's idling out he caught a bunch of fish the other day he's probably fishing around here somewhere but anyways i ain't worried about that more about catching me some let's see what we can do pretty rough out here so we doing about 10 mile an hour we got a 45 minute ride around period so i should be able to get to my area before obviously lines in but it's pretty gnarly fishermen call plowing that's all you can do right now is plow about 10 maybe 12 mile an hour max so you just gotta take it easy in these big waves because it gets yeah dangerous so we're taking it easy
barely hooked. Jeez. Mm. But good enough. 214. 214. Alright, let's go, baby. Whoa, dude. If that's a small, bro, if that's a small mouth. If that's a small, it ain't fighting like one. Oh, that's that's gonna be a drum watch. I think that's a drum. Let's see. Or a walleye. I caught a walleye earlier. Whoa. Earlier. I don't think that's a bass. Yep, that's another walleye. Sucker. But that's alright. I got something for him. A corn cornmeal jacket. What I got for you, big dog. Hey, I am not mad at this right now. Cause I can taste him already. He's not even in the boat yet. Come here. That's a big one too. Come on. Come here, Walter. Oh, Walter don't want to come in. I don't. Come on. No, no, no. Don't get off. Don't get off, buddy. Gotcha. <laughs> we about to be eating good tonight, y'all. <laughs> That's number two. Hey, catch way filet. Look at that. Hey, all the boys at the room. Avena. You're off day. We ain't good tonight, baby. I promise you. <laughs> oh, gosh. It's so strong, buddy. Three pounds, two ounces. Three, two. That's it, buddy. Jeez, I thought you was a giant. But three pounds, I like it. bigger and didn't fight nearly as hard. Alright. Nice one. Three pounds. Nine ounces. Three nine. Right. Thank you, baby. Beautiful. about six pounds of them go unreal man I seen him on live scope I seen him Very heavy, whatever it is. It's a small mount. God! Ah! <sighs> Freaking four pounder, dude. Oh boy. That's tough. That's tough. Hook was fine. Yeah, I've been checking it after every catch. It's just, man, when they, they don't get it in a good part of their mouth. You can't stop them from jumping, you know, so it's like, what do you do? Man, bro, that's three good ones I've lost.
Just fought, fighting like a walleye again. Oh no, it's a giant smallmouth, dude. Oh, that is not a walleye. Oh, wow. I'll take the penalty. I'll take that penalty, baby. Gosh, Lee, that's a tank. That is a tank, baby. I had to get you, mama. I wasn't gonna get you too many chances. I thought you was a, I thought you was a walleye, baby. Then you hook them like that sometimes, and they don't never come off. Four pounds, eight ounces. Four eight, baby. Four eight. Those are the ones right there. That is that is them. That be those a four eight. Look how dark and beautiful that fish is. Thank you, baby. Oh man. Oh goodness gracious. I thought that was a walleye, man. It was so heavy. <sighs> it's feeling like another walleye. Whoa. Four three. Yes, sir. We'll take it, baby. Jeez, I thought she was a walleye. You're not a walleye. He's a big one. Three nine? Three nine. Whew, I thought you were so much bigger than that, but I love every ounce of you, Mr. Three Nine. Dude, I was fighting it like a walleye too. I was trying to rush it. I need not do that. Gosh, it is a freaking tank. Don't jump. It lines out with seconds to go. How about that? Okay, that is going to be a flagrant fish landing violation. That's flagrant? Yes. How, how long is a flagrant? Flagrant. It's five, it's five minutes? Four six. Four six. Yes, sir. Yes, sir, baby. Four six. You were five minutes, I, I suppose. Out in the pond still, we have been on a two hour and, I don't know, 40 minute weather delay. Bad storm came through, had to throw the guy we are on, um, lightning in the area, things like that. So we got lines back in here in about 12 minutes and there's only gonna be one hour left of competition. So we're sitting in the lead right now, I think by about 12 pounds. Um, I'm gonna run around this last hour and still try to check a few more areas that I hadn't had a chance to get to that look good as far as my Garmin mapping showing. And um, hopefully we can relocate another school of fish. All right, gang, we did it. We absolutely did it. We made the cut. A top A, we actually won the round, won the knockout round, which is really cool. But at the end of the day, winning the knockout round, you know, you don't get nothing for that. You gotta win the dirt. So, and look at this, I'm going through all my my TRDs now I got all sorts of colors but this week has been all about the green pumpkin goby this guy right here and just regular green pumpkin that guy right there that is the juice for the week so we running low man I probably went through oh I don't know I got some more I've probably been through 60 or 70 of those this week crazy all right we back i went with my dog j-dub and brody and as always we film it of course right J -Dub, he's filming how about you filming it? everybody filming that's just what we it's do just now. how it is it's just the life that we live unbelievable this dude right here i caught a couple bass unbelievable just a couple though j-dub 
Hey. hey, it's a rare occasion I catch more bass than my boy J-Dub. He had to show me up, rare. but the thing is, rare. I did get that one big dupe today. You did so get that I, dupe. I think I got the dupe of the day. Oh, you did. Was the it dupe five? of the day, 5-3. My boy didn't call him a 5-3. And, and is it it's unofficial or is it official, the heavy hitters deal? Uh, they said it's uh, it's not it's unofficial, but it, it's, it's it's like it's they're looking official. pretty good. It's, hey, it's, it's, it's in between there, but let me you tell you something. You know who I knocked out? Who? Boy Duckett. <laughs> oh, I feel bad. Sorry, boy. I really do. I do. Hey, I feel so up. bad. Just in case y'all didn't know. So duck it. My boy, my boy, duck it, Rod. Really and he didn't knock out. out. He didn't boy knock really out. Look at it. I feel bad. I do. I'm like, boy, I'm like, man, can we all just, hey, just, 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 just extend it to 41? <laughs> boy, 40. My boy that knocked out boy. So but uh, but but heavy hitters is a dope event. Obviously, you guys seen it this year. Huge payouts. JoJo won the whole thing, and Big Bass had a two hundred grand. Sir wins everything. Michael Neal won fifty grand. Mm -hmm. uh, Mark Rose won twenty five thousand. Brett Ayler won twenty five thousand. I mean, it's a huge event. So for him to catch that five yonder to get him in there, big deal, big deal. So we about to go grab a bite to eat. We back at Sunny's again. Sunny's is a spot. If you ever come to Sturgeon's Bay, you got to go to Sunny's. Well, we get we get on a bag of what tonight. I don't know what we're gonna do on Sunny's. Sunny's got good pizza. It's got Everything. good. It's got decent wings. It's actually you know it's it's Italian. So there's I'm, not, I'm gonna get the chicken parm, man. Chicken parm. That, chicken parm. That's we'll gonna be a Caesar salad. That sound legit, bro. Yeah, I'm gonna chicken. We're gonna rate. We'll rate Sunny's for I'll you guys. Let y'all know. Let y'all know. But I'm already gonna do tell not you. Go to Firehouse. It's, it's it's good, yeah. Do and do not go to fire. Is it firehouse? What? It's it's like Door County Firehouse. Man, don't go there. They got some perch from 1966. All right, don't I told get you guys. Y'all seen it on live, I'm sure. Got us lucky and caught us a couple of these bad boys. So now it's about to be dinner time. All right, y'all. We got a good, we got a good little something going on right now. I'm here in Green Bay, just hooked up with my man Sean, who's Native American, part of the Oneida Nation. We're about to get this tutorial education from my man himself. This is really cool. I'm excited about this. So you guys look forward and stay tuned to this because this is going to be pretty dope. We do more than fish when we travel. Sometimes we experience the culture. Sometimes we get uh in behind the scenes to see just like what's really going on in these different people in these different places so really cool really cool we're here on the oneida nations reservation and they got a little lake where they take a lot of the kids and introduce them to fish and it's really cool so check it out they got all the different species they got largemouth pan fish which is probably crappie bluegill some other things they got rainbow trout oh and they got them tasty critters too all right so the education continues Sean finna, oh, Sean finna know, drop bro. some knowledge on us real quick. Brother? Getting some, some intros. Like Look at this, this is beautiful. Yeah, Check this out. <laughs> Two wolf's heads on a tree with a turtle. That's awesome. <laughs> That's dope. Man, somebody carved that. That's legit. Some kind of medicine. There's a bunch of medicines in here, and I can't identify them all. But these oh, are wow. our clans. Clans. Well, our, when you we say got three clans, so we got a wolf. Wolf is right here, and we got a bear and a oh. turtle. Huh. Oh. Okay. That's a bear. I thought that was so a bear. Is a qual. O qual in our language. Bear. Atnoa is a turtle. And on a turtle shell, we, we would use it as like a calendar system. Huh. You look at that turtle shell, it's 13 planks on, on its back. Yeah, and, that's interesting. And, and like our 12 months. No joke. Yeah, you know, and that's yeah. how we look at it. But this is part of a creation story of our people. And then you got Otel Hune, our wolf. So the part of the creation story of, of the, the quickest version for you guys, because this could go on for years. <laughs> sure, sure, sure. Was that this was a sea sea world like all the sea animals and what happened was that one day the sea animals and the birds happened to look up and seen something falling and nobody knew what it was and they communicated with each other and everyone's like what do you mean they communicated how can how can animals communicate do you hear dogs barking at each other yeah. do you hear the birds singing to each other yeah yeah they're communicating well they went up to the sky world we called it and seen that it happened to be a woman and they didn't know what it was and they were trying to figure out who could be big enough to carry her because she's gonna fall in this water well the story that i was told and there's a few stories that the swans went up 
and let her lay on their, their wings and they floated around until they realized that they weren't sure who could carry her. They reached out to the sea turtle and wow. they put her on his back and he swam around with her and they started talking oh and she God. said, uh, I, I, need, I need something. And she said, what? And she had these medicines, all these medicines in her wow. hand while she was falling from the sky world. Wow. And they didn't know of such a thing. And finally they came up to an otter. And the little otter said, I could get that for you. There's some down below the sea, sea bottom. And he went down and he didn't come up for the longest time. And they finally seen him floating. And the sea turtle got sad realized that that little otter died sacrificed his life to get this female what she needed and she gave thanks and she danced she danced a lot but she spread that mud is what she was looking for and she planted these seeds on that turtle shell and, wow. and it broke into places in what we call the creator's world now now you look at a map it's broken up like a turtle shell oh, every, wow. every state has something yep, yep. come from our turtle wow wow that's, that's scary, heavy, bro. Yeah, that's, yeah. that's dope. That's a really cool story. So that is dope. Right, and that pine tree, remember? Yeah. That, well, we had Donitas, Tomahawks, Cayugas, Senecas um, involved, and then we uh, adopted two tribes that we brought in. Uh, the Tuscaroras were originally from the Carolinas. They were getting beaten and ran off their properties, and the Iroquois people brought that tribe into our community that formed the great nations of six nations. Wow. So is there like, is there like, uh, like wow. quite yeah, a few tribes that are just like very like connected to each other, like very like, yeah, yeah like Mohawk. There's 500 different tribal nations. Right, right, like Mohawk, um, the first nations you guys met, yeah. the language dialects is the same. Okay. Really? And, so you guys can speak yeah. to one another? Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's heavy. Okay. I, and I got another question. Cause I've been told this, the term Indian, is that derogatory? Yes and no. Okay. It really depends. Like to me, I've been around it. I dealt with it for so long right. yeah. that, but remember when you posted that picture of the semi and whatnot? I took a picture. So here's a cool story. And this is how me and Sean originally met. I took a picture with Dale right. Earnhardt Jr. Yep. And I posted thing. it on Facebook. I thought it was just a cool picture. It, I posted it. But yeah, behind us, fly, there was like a big. Behind us, there was a big, a big uh, picture, and it had a, a Native American head with feathers, like a like a chief or whatever. And of course, Sean picked that up immediately. But not only did he pick it up, he knew just based on the, I guess the the, the features or whatever that it was a Oneida Nations individual, right? Mm -hmm. And so he sent me a message on Facebook and that's what triggered all of this. And then we came to Wisconsin last time and fished Nina, of course, in Bass Pro Tour. We didn't get the opportunity to hook up. We spoke back and forth on Facebook. Uh, so then when I came here, we were super close and that's what triggered all this. I wanted to make sure I got this, this good knowledge right here. You can get it. So, yeah. I could have brought This is dope. This is dope. Damn. Bay. We are. Tomorrow's gonna blow. Yep. It, it tends to do that around here, huh? A little bit of wind around here <laughs> just a little bit but hopefully we should live want to shout you guys out yeah. hey appreciate y'all hooking my man sean up excellent dude hell of a good dude hell of a fisherman and uh we had an excellent time today so and just leave us a few out there please <laughs> that's all we ask just a couple we just need a couple not too many just a few appreciate it guys so no i love hey so hey, closing out man picture. we had uh sean hooked us up man learned a lot today very educational um that's one of the things I love about traveling this beautiful country. Anyways, hope y'all enjoy this. Pick up a few little nuggets that you might could teach your people or somebody else watching that might help you along the way. Peace out, one love, see you in a minute. So we just wrapped up the whole educational surface. No, oh. So we just wrapped up the whole educational session with my man Sean with the Oneida Nations. That was super dope. So now it's time to get dinner. And me, Jay Wills, and Brody finna go get dinner. What you think Jay Wills oh, won't? For dinner yeah you already know right so he didn't hopped on yelp and we had some place that i don't even know what it's called but we about to eat some sushi of course oh it's called nakashima of japan some sushi let's see what he's talking about all right hey that was pretty solid i can't even hate that uh sushi spot 
Legit, I give it like an eight out of 10. Has some role called a Godzilla. Yeah, he was he, he was legit. Spot was good. Maybe one day. Where's Brody? Who knows? I want some ice cream, bro. You heard Mark want some ice cream. I want some ice cream. That was bad. That was good. All right, so we up early this morning. Just stopped at Mickey D's to get me a coffee. It is championship Wednesday. Championship Wednesday. Man, we had a heck of a day yesterday, 103 pounds. I laid off of them. I don't know if that's good or bad. You know, I can't win yesterday, but they were sure still biting, and uh, and we left them there. But I'm looking forward to getting out there this morning, man. I think it's gonna be a good morning. Got a lot of cloud cover, a um, little bit of wind. Hopefully the wind picks up just a little bit. Here on these Great Lakes, what I have noticed, the wind generates so much current. And that's what triggers these fish into biting. All that current pushing through, um, they move up onto these feeding places and then they just obviously start to eat. And that's when we catch them. So hopefully the wind picks up a little bit, but not too crazy because it gets crazy out here. But just a little bit, just to get enough of that good current moving around. And uh, and, and I'm hoping we can capitalize with some of those big smallmouth this morning in likes of uh, 200 pounds. That'd be nice. <laughs> no, I'm teasing. Anything over 100 pounds, man, that'd be... It would be a heck of a day, so that's the goal, man. We will be swinging. Well, we just pulled into the launch ramp where I want to launch at, and I want y'all to take a peek at this. It's pretty gnarly out here today. This is the launch ramp. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not at the beach. I'm not at the beach. It's the launch ramp. Looks like the beach, don't it? Jeez. Stay down. Stop jumping. Stop jumping. All right, baby, let's keep the party rolling. Thank you, 214. You guys will see me setting the hook a lot just because their bite is so finicky. Most of them are on the initial drop. So when you pick it up and it's heavy, it could either be a fish or it could be snagged in a rock. I'm taking my chances and I'm swinging on anything even close to being mimicking that feeling. Jumping. Jeez. Whoa. Don't show, buddy. Oh, it's a big one. Come here. Oh. Once again. That's the stance right there. <laughs> All right, then they go crazy once you get them. Oh, that's a good one. <laughs> Four pounds, two ounces. Four, two. <laughs> I don't even know. What to do right now, other than let this big sucker go. Thank you, big 4-2, and catch this one. This one thinks it's a tuna. Might be coming back this way. Baby, it's a 
the best way to get them small is they're so hard to grab but if you get your scoop down like that you'll be all right three pounds 14 ounces 314 thank you baby beautiful sturgeon bay big old bronze brownie thank you baby Take your time again. Oh, stop jumping, dude. All right, here we go. Pound zero ounces. Three pounds, zero ounces. Sir, three zero. We love you, baby. Oh, gosh, that's a big one. Oh, that's a big, big one. Wow. Wow, that one's big. Super dark too. No, don't jump. Don't jump. Oh, I got you, buddy. He ain't big as quite as I thought, but he big enough. Oh, little turd eater. Hey, they love that. I'm telling you, whenever you fishing gobies. You gotta have TRDs. Finesse room's head on there. Of course, you couple that with a favorite hex. You fill all your bites. 314. 314. Yes, sir. Whoa, 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 whoa. Actually, he has it really good. Just look like it. Yes. Three pounds, eight ounces. Three eight, baby. Let's keep the party rolling. Keep her going. <laughs> Lots of brownies out here, man. This don't get old. I'm telling you. Kind of learned something here this week. A lot of the current generated by the waves, actually the swell, the wind. And so what I learned is not to overwork my bait, just kind of let the current naturally wash it across the shoal. And, and that's getting a much better bite than, you know, working your bait, hopping it and popping it and things like that. So that's why it kind of looks like I'm fishing almost like a, like a hair jig or something, just constantly reeling it in real slow. Cause the current's doing everything else for me. It's just bumping it against the bottom, against those rocks like that. And then you break off on zebra mussels and retie, but just naturally letting it wash seems to work much better than, you know, me trying to hop. Guys, we are out here and it is kind of toward the beginning of the third period, but we have bad weather coming in behind us. And so they're telling us that we might actually be done. I'm sitting in third place right now, but I'm like, I think 16 pounds behind Justin Lucas, uh, pound 12 behind Josh Bertrand. I believe my boy J-Dub came out here to support me. It's always love, but uh, man, sure would like to keep fishing, but I, I get it, man. Safety first, especially when you're looking at that right there. I mean, it's headed our way too, and it's it's nasty. So there's probably lightning and Lord knows what over there where we can't see, and I'm sure there's guys over there fishing. So if that's the case, third place can't be mad. Days of work. Caught uh, how many bass we caught today, sir? Oh, I'll make any work. Sorry, y'all. Right. He's he's got to dig it out. I hate to, right. I hate to Don't even do that. I hate to make him dig it out. I probably lost four today, maybe. Twenty-four. And I've caught twenty-four. Wow, that's, that's that's decent. I think yesterday I caught thirty. So yeah, I was pretty much on par for that. These rascals, they being difficult today, man. The problem is 
we don't have wind so i was complaining this morning about too much wind well then when you get no wind it's, it's kind of like the exact same thing you know um they, that wind creates all that current that's what gets them feeding that's what keeps them active when it's slick calm like this here this is considered slick calm believe it or not when it's slick calm this is no bueno so i don't know maybe we might get to cast at them again i don't know we'll see Three ounces. Three ounces. Wow, I just seen a fish swim over to my bait on live scope. And he got it. I saw that, dude. <laughs> I saw that on live scope. No doubt. <laughs> I saw that. At like 70 foot out, I saw that little small TRD falling down. And then I seen this fish just appear out of nowhere and he was following it down. That's why you gotta have that live scope. If it just gives me one extra bite a day. Oh. Come here. Oh, you got it good. You fell victim to the scope. Two one. Alright. Not a big one. Scoreable. But I rolled over there just idling by. I saw two dots down there. Figure we stopped again. That's how I found that whole school, just a couple of marks. And when I just reeled that one up, I saw on live scope again there was another one with it. ways to catch them. Big old brownie. Big old brownie. And the scope wins again. Little finesse worms. Z-Man. Green pump. Two pounds, ten ounces. Two ten. Look at how fat, little short fat that little girthy little baby that's a that's what we call a baby belly shirt okay it's not a it's not a certified belly shirt it's a baby belly shirt but we love them all the same